Video games are very good at two things, letting you shoot stuff and accurately portraying the late 19th century cultural inspirations behind the Art Nouveau wave. Or maybe they're just good at the first one. In reality, PC games are excellent at portraying all manner of interesting and challenging themes, but no game type plants quite so many rear ends in office chairs like first-person shooters. Ever since the likes of 1993's seminal Doom, FPS titles have been pushing the technological envelope on PC, and over the years, the genre has given us some of the most energizing, electrifying moments in gaming history. From blasting Starship Trooper rejects to bits in Half-Life 2, picking your jaw off the floor over the mushroom cloud misery of modern warfare, or reveling in CSGO's blink and you'll miss it brutality, here, in no particular order, are the very best PC shooters you can wrap your trigger fingers around. Despite launching back in ye olden days of 2004, Half-Life 2 remains one of the finest first-person shooters of all time. Valve is a master of single-player pacing, and few PC shooters in the ensuing 14 years since Gordon Freeman stuck it to the Combine mix such deftly constructed set pieces with consistently excellent world building. Though its bespectacled hero may be mute, Gordon lets his actions do the talking in this brilliantly constructed shooter. Whether braving irradiated rivers in Water Hazard, one of the best vehicle sections to grace any shooter, screwing around with seesaws, or cutting Ravenholm zombies in half using murderous physics, Half-Life 2's superbly varied action always keeps you guessing. Oh, and Gravity Gun, we adore you. Will you please marry us? I will take that as a yes. There really is no I in team when it comes to Blizzard's terrific team shooter. Not unless you're recklessly cavalier with your valves. Whereas much of its competition would rather reward players for lone wolf gunmanship, Overwatch is all about fashioning victories by working as a selfless unit. Sure, going Robin Hood on an opponent's stomach lining is certainly satisfying, but combining forces with your teammates to protect the payload in a frantic game of escort is equally rewarding. Blink through time and space with the iconic Tracer, rain barrages of mini-missiles down on the opposition thanks to Farah and her jump jet, tan the enemy's collective keisters with Reaper's ultra-flashy Death Blossom Flurry. In Overwatch, tight teamwork, Pixar-quality cutscenes and minigun murder combine to glorious effect. No shooter delivers rapid-fire death and destruction quite like CSGO. Valve's Breakneck Blaster is one of the most tightly constructed multiplayer games on the planet, and few titles can match the exquisite precision of its impeccably designed maps. Even though it launched six years ago, CSGO still attracts a rabid fanbase. It's almost never outside the top three most played games on Steam, and to many players, progressing up through the online leaderboards is like a religion, only with a little more shooting terrorists in the spleen and a smidge less kneeling. From outflanking foes in games of demolition to fighting over imprisoned civilians in hostage matches, CSGO's online action is tense and deeply tactical. Just do yourself a favour and let your teammates round the corners first before you poke your head out. And that's us not following our own advice. Modern Warfare is the greatest Call of Duty game ever made, and it probably isn't even close. The recent remaster of 2007's seminal shooter is even better, sporting reworked textures and much improved character models. Captain Price's magnificent suit strainer is so sexy it deserves its own spin-off series. While the 2016 Redux brought COD 4's brilliant multiplayer back to life, it's that mesmerizing single-player campaign that effortlessly elevates modern warfare above every other franchise entry. And honestly, where do you start? The impersonal skyward slaughter of the Death From Above mission remains chillingly calculated. The aviation ass-kicking served up in the awesome post-credits Mile High Club is one of the coolest endgame bonuses ever, and that ending is a sombering slow-mo humdinger. It's truly a killer campaign. And in all gillied up, Modern Warfare delivers 20 minutes of exhilarating sniping stealth that trumps every splinter cell combined. Talk about a lovely sequel surprise. Titanfall 2's campaign has absolutely no right being such rollicking good fun. Considering the original game didn't even have a proper single-player component, it's a minor mech miracle the follow-up boasts such a scintillating story mode. 
Following pilot Cooper and his Titan BT, the pair embark on a biomechanical bromance that features preposterously cool parkour, heroic sacrifices, and the most kick-ass knee slide since Vanquish's Sam Gideon ruined his shins battling Russian robots. With one of the most satisfying shotguns you'll ever find in a shooter and genuinely brilliant levels like the time-distorting effect and course, Titanfall 2 delivers one of the most satisfying single-player campaigns in recent memory. The marvellous, grapple-hook-happy mech-on-mech multiplayer also returns, making Titanfall 2 a must-buy shooter on PC. Tom Clancy may sadly no longer be with us, but even without the legendary espionage novelist, Rainbow Six goes from strength to strength, with Siege proving to be the strongest entry in the series yet. Over the last couple of years, this terrorist hunting FPS has deservedly earned a cult following, and the moment you rappel down the side of a building, it's not hard to see why. Whether you're steering a delightfully jumpy drone around to tag enemies, laying down barbed wire in a desperately tense game of team deathmatch hostage, or nailing barricades like a gun-toting Tim the Toolman Taylor in secure area matches, few shooters rival Rainbow Six's cerebral, constantly tense action. Thanks to a wealth of customization options, different operators to unlock, and the surprisingly distracting single-player situations, Siege really is a tactical treat. It may be six years old, but Far Cry 3 is arguably still the best sandbox shooter around. When Ubisoft Montreal created Jason Brody's sun-kissed pistol playground, it didn't just make a fabulous first-person shooter. It laid the foundations for every Ubi open world game for the next five years. Far Cry 3's genius lies in the sheer number of distractions it lays at your trigger-happy flip-flops. It doesn't matter whether you choose to spend your time lazily gliding over rook islands, scaling antenna towers to unmiss the map, rocketing pirates, stealthily clearing enemy outposts, or stabbing Shere Khan's cousin in the face. Every shooty activity in Far Cry 3 is a delight. Lose yourself swimming with manta rays, grenade a bunch of goons silently, stab up any pirate that crosses Brody's path. Whatever you do, FPS fun is guaranteed. Hold on, don't close your browser. Right about now, you're probably seething that we put Infinite on this list instead of the original Bioshock. But please, hear us out. Yes, the 2007 shooter is a submerged sensation, but for us, Booker's cloud-hugging blaster edges it by the teeniest of margins. It helps that Bioshock Infinite has more compelling characters than the original. While Rapture is a truly riveting location in which to lose yourself, much of the first Bioshock's great storytelling is told through its environment. But in Infinite, one of gaming's greatest double acts does all the heavy lifting when it comes to delivering a rapturous tale. Infinite and its Skyward City soar through beautifully drawn, intimate character moments. Be it Elizabeth gleefully dancing on the boardwalk of Battleship Bay. Oh, this is wonderful! Well, come dance with me, Mr. DeWitt! I don't dance. Come on, let's go. Why? What could be better than this? Or DeWitt's selfless, sorrowful sacrifice, shooters don't come much more heartfelt than Bioshock Infinite. And Irrational's grand finale also gets extra points for its 50-foot mechanical budgie. Even though it's a marvellous first-person shooter, many of Battlefield 1's best moments actually come from third-person vehicle sections. In the episodic war stories, DICE delivers the best single-player campaign in the series, with many of the globe-spanning highlights arriving when you're plunked into a juddering tank or nimble biplane. Not to mention the most heroically shooty horseback charges in history. And thanks to EA's Frostbite 3 engine, Battlefield 1 is arguably the best-looking shooter money can buy. Whether you're silently stabbing dudes with Lawrence of Arabia's sneaky chum, or pretending you're starring in Mel Gibson's Gallipoli as you sprint about as an Aussie runner, this epic shooter constantly arouses the eyes. With the likes of the exhilaratingly hectic Conquest mode, Battlefield 1 also proves DICE's destructive series is still the multiplayer shooter to outgun. Id Software's brutal reimagining of Doom may be the most successful reboot since Christopher Nolan gave Batman a nipple-free refresh. With super squelchy demon slaughter and some of the smoothest shooting you'll find in any PC game, Doom 2016 deserves to be mentioned in the same hallowed homicidal breath as the 1993 masterpiece.
Combining ultra-satisfying strafe-based combat, beautifully complex alien environments, and the most iconic helmet in gaming, Doom serves up a supreme shotgun fest that never lets up. Whether you're putting imps down with one-shot kill gauss cannon rounds, unleashing curb-stomping glory kills, or performing chainsawing gastric surgery on a cyber mancubus's belly, Doom is gorily Moorish. And with no disrespect to Roald Dahl, we take Doom's cacodemon decimating BFG over a wimpy giant any day of the week. And there you have it, 10 of the most sensational shooters you can play on PC. Did we miss any of your favourites? Do you vehemently disagree with any of our bullet spewing choices? Put us right with your crack shot recommendations in the comments below. And if you think our picks were on the shotgun waving money and you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to Logitech G for more weekly shows, and don't forget that screwing about with dolls can be every bit as invigorating as gunning folk down in a King Kong-sized mech. Thank you for watching.